Hey. Um, last uh, last category coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? What is the last category? Fergus. Yeah. Fergus. Fergus. Best Fergus. digital Jordan. Fergus. <laughs> Game of the year time. Changing things up. Oh, that's the Best one. digital uh, face. We're going to actually... <laughs> Can we pull games spacey? from last year? We're going to pick five finalists Fergus. and uh, one winner. So well, divinity obviously. <laughs> Apparently, it has to be game of the year. Look at the in facts. our chat log. Cater to the Don't audience. Look at the records. I'm voting for destiny. All right, here are. <laughs> That's an upset. Destiny. <laughs> destiny wins. Destiny. Here destiny. destiny wins by upset. Watchdogs. <laughs> Watchdogs. Yeah. Watchdogs. Top out with destiny. Watchdogs. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Assassin's yeah, Creed yeah, Unity yeah. and hype, and Rogue. Hype. hype. <laughs> and four. And sticks. Five way tie. We have to give it to the one that got the most money. Uh, nominees: <laughs> Shovel Knight, Dragon Age. That'd be Dota. <laughs> Made the most money this year. Stick Dota. with me, Dota. Dota. One more. Which ones do I play to win? Wolfenstein. Fergus. Fergus. <laughs> uh, Sunset Overdrive. Crossy Road. The Wolf Get Among Us. <laughs> Titanfall. Hearthstone. Woo. There's a fucking pillow here that says Game of the Year on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Watch that unplug some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Whole stream goes down by Hearthstone. Far Cry 4. <laughs> South Park. <laughs> Shadow of Mordor. Sorry I threw your pillow on the ground. No, you're not. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Alien Isolation. Diablo 3. If it was a Wolfenstein pillar, it would have been okay. It would have been. Because <laughs> Wolfenstein's tough. Anything Argus. else to Argus. add? PT. PT. <laughs> PT. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm going to play it, I swear. I will, was, I, will, I, will, I will try to find a way of playing it. D I actually might borrow Andy's Divinity. PS4. <laughs> Divinity was actually nominated. It's, in our, it's free if you can get a PS4. Yeah, I'll get a PS4 from Andy. Rounds. I'm sure he'll let me borrow it. That's sad, no one's played it. I suppose we should add sports friends. Played what? Or Divinity. if you just said indie game, oh. it has to at least be nominated. <laughs> it was nominated, just didn't. Yeah, sh yeah if Shovel Knight's nominated, sports friend has to be. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that works. That's true. <laughs> it's a very precise process we have. <laughs> okay, what goes first? Titanfall. 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 We'll see you later. Wolf Sunset Among Overdrive. Us. Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Uh, Wolf Among Us. Yeah, I take I'm not. I'm not giving up on Sunset Overdrive right off the bat. Out of hit the top five, so Hearthstone can go. No, fuck. Yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> Get rid of it. That's Hell three. No. That's three people. Uh, Diablo. Not Diablo. when I'm finished here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna split you in two. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into nine <laughs> people. Uh, What's up? Shovel Do you have a card for that? Shovel Knight. No, Shovel Knight <laughs> can probably go. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Shovel Knight. I'd say Dragon Age as well. Beaten by sports. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to fight too hard for Dragon Age. Okay. Right. Far Cry 4. <sighs> oh. Alien Isolation. No. That, sports no. Friends. I will I will punch somebody for that one. I don't know if you have any backups. Yeah, I think you're the only one. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get rid of that before Far Cry, though. Yeah. yeah I... Yeah, you want to get rid of both of them, don't you? Yep. We're, we're, we're like keeping. Five. You, said we're, <laughs> you said we're keeping five, right? Okay, How many I'm okay now? with five. Uh, uh, I I'd have to get rid of this before I get. I have to get rid of Alien Isolation before I get rid of Overdrive. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of things Alien could probably do better. How do you know? I just. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't. I don't know what else. Let's go ahead and delete Far Cry. Uh, are we okay with that? Mm. Are we deleting Far Cry 4 on the idea that there is Far Cry 3? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I think that's part yeah. of it, probably, but I don't yeah. I don't like that idea. I don't like the idea either, but... <laughs> I'm just, I mean... I'm trying to see... I got to focus all of my attention on Hearthstone making top five. Stop comp it's going to make the top five. Okay, good. You're in control. <laughs> Hearthstone <laughs> will make top five. That's fine. I'm, I'm just moving things around here. See where we're I'm at. Just trying to f you're you're I'm getting them in order so you can delete them faster. No, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm separating to see if we've because got you five. look, you've got your five right there. Um, I, huh? 
<sighs> really like that list. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> make some make some arguments. So, what? Well, so we've got Far Cry Four, Alien Isolation. I think I, I think we've been making them for Alien. It's one multiple. It's won multiple categories it's, tonight. It's, it, no, it's 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 got like to me, it's got a really good feature. And and that and the and the alien creature, but as far as like it didn't break through, and in, in the way that I considered purchasing it, be in the survival horror genre, like it, I, it just, like I it, there's just I uh, I respect your opinion, but there's like, I mean oh. there's no. There's I have had not had any other kind of experience like that, and I am all like Andy would go buy those games and watch me play them for for that experience. There's I have not had any other kind of experience like that other than Alien. Okay, I mean it's just is Far Cry Four out? I would not want it to be. What do you? I would want it to be because what, of the because you, of the experiences that out, I've had. With out of it. our five, Wolfenstein, Hearthstone, South Park, Shadow of Mordor, Sports Friends are. Right now, above our little Maple Leaf line. So I what would, are we swapping? What we, are we... I would swap. Because I'm thinking Sunset Overdrive's gone. I so, think so. Yeah, I think it's gone. So you're fighting it's, to get Far Cry 4 or Alien Isolation in this top five. Um, so I don't have the alien experience. I hear what Jason's saying, but I mean, he and I also played Far Cry 4. I mean, we were talking earlier in the, in the day about you know getting on elephants and killing tigers and just like the craziness <laughs> that happens in that game. And... When Far Cry 3 came out, we it didn't even make our Grimmies because we hadn't spent the time with it. Yeah. And so Far Cry 4, I think, is that it's, redemption it's for me in getting <laughs> that this kind of game is I'm, fun. I'm, okay. and, and just the fact that Alien Isolation took such a challenging idea of <laughs> re- visiting the Alien franchise and doing it in such a way that is actually more connected to the movies than anything else and pulling off it visually and, and just experiencing everything that those characters would experience let's say in the movies and i think that's awesome I and just, there is i mean and there's a legitimate the list, then? that's respectable i, I mean, would i would i would easily swap sports friends out for any of those okay i for either one i think sports friends is the the week the week of the five of of the five yeah i agree okay i think so so now we got three <laughs> um so uh, I want to I go back to what you said on Far Cry. So is it fair to talk higher of Far Cry 4 only because we didn't play Far Cry 3 last no. year when we talked to it? I, because had I, we played Far Cry 3, we would be saying the same. We would have said the same things about it. I don't it. think you can consider Far Cry 3, but I, I do. There is some merit to Far Cry 4 just being an outstanding yeah. game regardless on yeah. its own yeah i mean I mean, that point may not have been strong that i was making but i think far cry 4 on its own okay it's so, just a very I mean, the only thing uh, the only thing i can do fun game for me is and this is just trying to guide the conversation um i'm okay with cutting sports friends and i but only far cry 4 or alien isolation can break through here um okay i wasn't with, with alien i wasn't expect okay let's say as a total, I have uh, certainly enjoyed my experiences with Far Cry 4. I was the reason why I bought it was probably because of what I knew of Far Cry 3 and a lot of people saying, "Yeah, this is that and then a whole heck of a lot more." In terms of the crazy scenarios you could get yourself into. It was basically word of mouth that got me into Far Cry 4. What okay. got me into Alien Isolation was the fact that what I was experiencing and seeing just really changed I mean, there's no other gameplay experience like it for me. I, I, I mean, I know its inspiration comes from the Amnesia games, and I mean, you could say you could you could we could talk about half of these games like that. I'm I'm just I'm just saying I've heard more negative things about Alien Isolation, and that's where if I have to pick, I I I mean, I'm, there's nobody else here that's played Alien Isolation, and that's a that is a, <laughs> that's that is a, a real problem. shame. <laughs> Um, I think we're, we're sorry, not. Are you, like, are you are you arguing to keep sports friends in the top five? Is that what you're doing? I I'm I'm kind of I could go either way with Far Cry Four and sports friends. Like I'm leaning toward, but I mean I haven't played either game, so I can't make that make that vote. You're the guy that's played Far Cry Four and an Alien. I'm just saying. Well, let's get this some, out of the way first. Far Cry Four or Alien? He sounds like Alien. So you're Alien over Far Cry Four. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, the fact that I've had so much more fun with Far Cry 4 is kind of a shame, but the fact that just technically and... I don't know. I just okay. What do you say? The achieve the the achievement of Alien not only based on the fact that it's a really good game, but the fact that it did indeed sort of inject blood into the fact that we can actually maybe rely on somebody to make a decent Alien game has to say something. Yeah. I mean, for me, having not played either, my current feeling is I'm more intrigued to play Alien before Far oh, Cry. Absolutely. Because but having played Far Cry 3, I mean, I, I, I don't doubt that Far Cry 4 took it to the next level, but it's not going to be I feel like as Alien big is, of a jump for me as someone who didn't play Far Cry 3. See, I feel like Alien is a more complete game I, okay. because, of the, because of the possibility of the sandbox scene of Far Cry 4. Like, I could play Far Cry 4 and never do anything other than just yeah. run around and be crazy. That's what Justin did in Far it's Cry 3. That's a good time. Shark hunting. I'm feeling feel like a whole lot of the... Really fucking good the time. alien love though comes just from being a fan of alien in general I, I, okay that my biggest thing has been when they said that that game is 20 hours long i'm just like that atmosphere that's, is fantastic it's pretty long does the pace yeah as you're to- constantly uh, doing things as a as like a as yeah as the total experience is you're constantly doing things and there are many twists and turns along the way more so than i've experienced with far cry 4 uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's. I would, two, on, I, really I would honestly, games. I would honestly, my like my yeah, list. Sports friends sonas, is gone. Yeah, my yeah. line list would honestly. I just, I don't, yep. I don't yep. know Hearthstone, so I would have. Those would be my top five outside of Hearthstone. All right, we can cut Hearthstone. That's fine. No, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> that. Let's cut it. Who's the other weak link here? Mordor. Jordan's been quiet. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, nobody, nobody has talked about Mordor really. Yeah. I am excited. I mean, is it on the list just because of the Nemesis system? I mean, that's and that's fine if it is, but you guys haven't made a strong case about why it's on there outside of your experiences with Bright Eyes. I mean, like, I wasn't going to fight for it for Game of the Year in this group just based on earlier conversations, but I believe it needs to be... I, I believe it's finalist worthy because of that fucking that nemesis system is important <laughs> it is going to be the it's the first thing of this generate next yeah. generation that i mean it's the cover system it's the thing that everybody's going to rip off of and build upon and it's going to be it's seared into my brain the the just those initial interactions that yeah that the it overshadows like there are a lot of areas of improvement for mordor but because the meat is so fucking good because of that nemesis system. Well, they had to cut out a lot on that game, too. I'm sure. I, yeah, they did. I, I read an article, actually, last night that said that I I they had a lot that. of stuff out there, and then they were like, whoa, we they can't had, do this. Yeah, yeah, ambitions for it that yeah. didn't make it. But I don't know. Just the... That was the most excited I ever... I got all year was talking to people about their Mordor experiences, so... Um... um my weak link was probably South Park next um, because for whatever reason that wasn't I mean I think it's it's a great South Park episode but not a great game yeah I'd say it's a really good RPG I think it's a it's a very accessible RPG it's easy to pick up it's easy to play it's not super deep it's yeah it doesn't go well it doesn't go deep but I just think it's it's they they embrace that they they could have easily just made a South Park game without even doing that, but they truly, I think, took in elements of that RPG, you know, realm and made it accessible to people that may not actually play RPGs. That's true. I mean, that audience okay. probably is not RPG, you know, I mean, the, connected. Because there was a little part of me that was like the the RPG part of it's kind of dumbed down. So. Yeah, but I mean, it's, but it still makes it, it, it it's still woven into the story sure. in the universe. Sure. In a in a very hu- humorous and realistic kind of way. So what is what's leading the pack right now then? I don't know. Wolfenstein. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Vargas. Yeah, we haven't said a single word about Wolfenstein. Vargas. I don't. I know. I don't have any other backers for Shadow of Mordor. So maybe I. I so. Well, I played Mordor. I mean, I I don't know if I have is like any additional backers. Yeah. I I can't. Well, I can't argue against Alien because I didn't play it, obviously. <laughs> but I would. 
I would pick Mordor over. I'm not going to fight for Alien Far to be Cry. like number one. I mean, it I was no, my we're number all, one. We're all on trying my to get, list, get a, yeah, we're trying to get our game into the finals here. I think you have to choose between Wolfenstein and Shadow. No. <laughs> I mean, Wolfenstein. You're Wolfenstein. talking about one and two for me. I I think. Far Cry is towards the bottom for me, or well, obviously I don't give a shit about Hearthstone, but I know it's not going anywhere. Damn right. Um, it All could, right, it could go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are we willing to cut Far Cry to get to our five, and then start talking about? I th- I th- I think jo- um, I Aaron and I. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't rank. I mean. Hearing hearing what you guys enjoy about Far Cry, I still can't rank that as a better game than what Mordor has accomplished with yeah, if we're the, talking, the yeah. gameplay itself. If we're talking I consider that, and I yeah. can't cut Mordor in favor of Far Cry, but everything I hear about Alien, I I respect, but I That's, have not been persuaded in any way so far yeah. to give it Far Cry up in favor of it. Okay, then let's cut Hearthstone, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Cole. That makes it so much easier. Yeah, yep. no. Yeah, my third that. Yeah. Number three. Fourth. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand four. how this voting right. system works here. If you want me to go to the tape, <laughs> Far Cry <laughs> and uh, Alien. Well, hold on. That's all good. Alien has one. Mine. Yeah. So Alien and... Well, I don't... I don't want to be. I feel like it's unfair to say that yeah. I want to cut Alien because yeah, only yeah, it's kind Jason's of where I'm played stuck. it. I don't like, think that's a. I'm going off of word of he's mouth. Played it. Thing. I think that's all that really counts. I'm going off. Yeah, I'm going off word of mouth. It's true. I mean, it's a truly didn't, good didn't game. Alien, it's not. It's not the fact that yeah, I loved Alien and I grew up on Alien, but didn't it's Alien the fact crack that, into some lists on like oh yeah, oh yeah, everybody's lists. I didn't look. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty. I mean, I'm pretty sure Alien got ranked pretty high. Yeah. Over. I didn't see anybody talk about just, Far Cry Four. I just that re- didn't make anybody's list. My my interpretation was mixed reviews when it came out, and and that it was, and then I heard that it was way too long. And the length is the only thing that really scares me about it. Yeah, but it does. I mean, you can still have fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't think I'm ever going to finish Far Cry Four. But I'm still loving it. There's some people talking about Far Cry 4 on Game of the Year list. Yeah. Polygon did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they were paid to. <laughs> <laughs> and they're rolling in cash now. <laughs> number seven. I just, okay. I just, so it was number seven on their list. Well, I don't know what the other... Oh, I, I guess that's just okay. number so, is. Maybe I can find it. So I think those are safe. So we want South Park on South Park safe. Does it sound like is that, is right? that it? everybody on South Park? South Park was my number I can't, two. Yeah, I can't really. I mean, South South Park was my top five. It's South Park and yeah, South Park would have been in my top five if I had remembered. <laughs> I mean, it would have. I my list, my my top ten list would look different. South Park is my is my next in line. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not a fan of the show. So, like I've I've seen the game. I've seen a walkthrough of the game, but I can't imagine the game's fun to play. It's not fun to, it's not fun to play. It's fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and whether whether you have to play it yourself in order to watch it or yeah, you watch somebody else. Yeah. Way. That's if we cut South Park. The story is both great. Far Cry and I, Alien make our final five. I mean, did South Park got story of the year, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the fun part of South Park. So right. for game of the year, it's it's not really the game of it's, it's all the South Park s- is is the story. Yeah. The really the actual right. gameplay of, the gameplay of it actually kind of bores me. Yeah, and I, it's just a hindrance to get through the story the game, for me. Yeah, the gameplay is a means to see the story yeah, yeah, and I content. Agree. Cut it. I Cut. agree. I, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Well done, gentlemen. Final five, Wolfenstein, The New Order, Vargas. Hearthstone, <laughs> <laughs> Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, Far Cry 4, and Alien Isolation. Now let's uh, Russian roulette this. <sighs> Five bullets. <laughs> it's gonna. It's a the consensus for this will be five bullets. blast a blast. Okay, we are not seven thirty on time in this. We're not coming to. <laughs> it's not going to be an agreement. No. Is anybody 
Far Cry Four for game overall. I feel no. like I feel I like what, I know no. what mine is. I feel like no. I feel like if you hit enter right there, I think this actually gets us to three. I would probably put Alien above Far Cry. I mean, I'm well, excited. I mean, that's, I well, know, the, the order doesn't matter. Doesn't oh, it matter. Doesn't? No, we're, we're just picking the no, winner. We're just gonna talk just five. We have to choose one winner. now. Oh, okay. It's one of those top three. Oh, then I would not, probably throw it. And not the middle one. Uh, well, I don't know. Either between Mordor or Wolfenstein, I guess. Wolfenstein beats Mordor because Wolfenstein I mean, has the whole package. Mordor, the story is boring. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's, it's fun to play. The, Mordor is fun to I play. Would the say, combat is good and Nemesis is good, but what else is going on is boring. I'd yeah. also say the story doesn't detract and then the action's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't detract, but it doesn't, it doesn't add. And Wolfenstein, for me... <laughs> didn't have that great moment like it's fucking solid all the way through what's hearthstone's great moment and it's just the the <laughs> the back and forth the day-to-day the it's a competitive game well, yeah, the highs and lows no come with story it's a by the way isn't it the point of making a sequel to make it restoried hmm? just what ghost said oh uh, what well i think yeah you wouldn't do tell the story again <laughs> that's the point of making a sequel is that it needs to be In retextured and restored Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you did go too far, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got... I'm a Mordor. You're a Wolfenstein. Aaron's a Hearthstone. Cole. Oh, you're, uh, you're Mordor? I'm Mordor, Wolfenstein, Hearthstone. I'm Wolfenstein, I'm Mordor, Hearthstone. Cole, what are you? Wolfenstein, Mordor, Hearthstone. Okay. Fergus. Uh, what's your beef with Hearthstone, Cole? It's a fucking card game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's where I'm at. I just don't enjoy. Card I got games. Gifford to play it, and he fucking likes it. I mean, that's shocked. And I know Kenny. Kenny loves it too. So can we not say Wolfenstein's a fucking shooter, or Shadow of Mordor is a fucking open world? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Well, see, I don't. Action, wa- I don't want there to be point, more Hearthstone. Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly why I like <laughs> Wolfenstein because it is. It, it, it's it's like the want. epitome of the first person it, shooter. It, 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 those, those is there shit. a story to Hearthstone? See, it depends on what you want. No, it's the so. Character. How is that not like any other card game? It's got the Warcraft lore to it. I mean, there's not. St- I mean, yeah, it's just game story. mechanics. It's, it's just game elements. It's, it's just mechanics, game. competition, yeah. collecting. Tournament scene. So I mean, if they it's, made it's, an alien card game, we could have the same conversation. If it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah. Okay. Then it, it would depend on if you like card games and alien. I mean, Hearthstone's strengths are its its its, it's accessibility, and I don't like Warcraft. That's that's fine. I don't like accessibility. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, so I don't. You that, I mean, I'm career. just I'm just trying to, to to break it down a little bit. <laughs> sure. Um. I'm not particularly fond what of I like card about, games either. What I like about Mordor is you don't have to give a shit about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just fucking fun to play. Wolfenstein has that, but Hearthstone has that for me too. Because I should hate that fucking game, but I spent a bunch of money on it. So, What's Jordan's vote? I would go Wolfenstein, Mordor, and then uh, you know, I'll, I'll throw Hearthstone up there just because you guys do play it a ton. I know there's something there for you. Yeah, I know. I'm... I'm yeah, I'm but not, like, not going to shit on Hearthstone because I know a ton card. of people yeah, that play it's just it. just another card And game. I think that's what it is. To me, it is just a card game, but for some reason, people keep playing it over and over and over, so and there's got to be something the, there. The UI, I think it's the accessibility of playing it on Because WWE yeah. Supercard is a card game. <laughs> <laughs> that, game <laughs> that game looks like there's a mess, a car- though. There's a, <laughs> so what there's a card game, and then there's... What if they just did Hearthstone, but with wrestlers? <laughs> I, I'm okay with that. I was. I, I think I've concepted here. that before. All right. So we've got Cole Wolf, uh, Wolfenstein, Mordor. What were you, Jason? Isolation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because yeah. you didn't play any of the three we have. Mordor on the top, and right? Wolfenstein. No, I've I've I, I've tinkered. I know enough. Yeah, I think I'm happy to see Far Cry in the, the in the top five, but I wouldn't put it above anything else. Okay. What about the three games you don't really know about? <laughs> Burgess. What do you mean I don't know about? I know yeah. I, the only one I don't know about is Hearthstone. Okay. I've talked about Wolfenstein and Shadow Mordor at length whenever we've brought them up. What was your vote between those two? 
of between what? Wolfstein and Mordor. Probably. <laughs> I, th- I I think I have to go with Wolfenstein just because it does have more of a package than Mordor because Mordor is more of a mechanic. Oh, giving awards to packages. <laughs> it's the so full I, package. I to say that. <laughs> Wait, so Mordor it's, is just the Nemesis system and nothing else? I, I it, feel like it is. I just think that that system is is it. That is what we remember t- 2014 for. It is. It's a system. It's not the game of the year. It's a system of the year. It's a fucking fun game. Like I still go back and play it. And it's just the. I mean, it. I'm honestly, honestly, if if they and this is just random. I know. I'm just lightening the mood. Okay. If they took the the Nemesis system and put it in Far Cry Four, that would be. Oh a, yeah. Like oh, that's what I mean. That's like, what. Yeah, that's what people want. If they took the Alien. <laughs> if they put the Alien, alien and alien, put it. Put that into Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. <laughs> took Frau. <laughs> From Wolfenstein. Oh, then you sat at her, table and put, put her into Alien. Hearth, Hearthstone. <laughs> now follow me oh, here. Oh, her face. Her messed up face. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I mean, it's a mechanic. You're, talk, you're talking about how the Nemesis is interchangeable in the other games, I, and that's what makes it fun. I hear one, two, three. I heard the Wolfenstein I four, one. I have four Wolfensteins. I'm failing to see. And a Mordor and a whole all the things, All the things that are used to detract from other games, I'm failing to see how Wolfenstein is then, how is it elevated in any sort of way. It's uh, it's a, Wolfenstein is a it's the just, complete package. It's just pure. It's just keep pure yeah, enjoyment. What's it's wrong like with Wolfenstein? from from Bob start to anything? from start to finish. I don't have a. Well, not we were Nazis, talking about this the Nazis other day. It's like I I can't come up with that. It doesn't have a great moment. Like it's that is the epitome of 2014. In that it doesn't. <laughs> it's have, the epitome of 2014. <laughs> we're not looking for it. Does, it, does, it, it just yeah. doesn't that have cool. that that standout. Thing. It's got a level and it stays true to that level from start to finish. <clears throat> because, I mean, yeah, I'm the only person here that would champion Hearthstone, but my runner up would be Mordor over oh, Wolfenstein. Okay. And I know it's it maybe a little unfair. I haven't played Wolfenstein. I've seen, I saw Coop play some of it. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but to me, it's, it is a shooter. And I've not seen that standout thing that makes me say, oh, game of the year is Wolfenstein. Well, dual, dual wielding's pretty so cool. sh- Well, dual wielding was in Halo. Too. So a shooter <laughs> along Borderlands. Are you too. saying that, yeah, a, that a shooter can't be classified I, as no. high as a third person if action it, If game? Wolfenstein had that hook to it that made it stand out, then yeah, I'd say that. And, but I don't want to get into an argument of hypotheticals on if the Nemesis system was in Wolfenstein, then, then yeah, that's the game of the year now. Because that's not the case. But it doesn't have it, the thing. What if it was? Well, Wolfenstein is on rails. I think you have to kind of use the Nemesis system in an open well, world, it could, right? Well, uh, to get away from the Nemesis system as a whole, I'm still missing that thing that makes Wolfenstein. I mean, games are game the selling point <laughs> of this list. It's, mm-hmm. Wolfenstein is just a entertaining story that you play through. I mean, the, uh, what's the, up with South Park? The hook is it, but but Wolfenstein has the game part of it too. I mean, the shooter side of it. South Park is just the story; it's missing the game mechanic. Wolfenstein has an. I mean, it's not. The best story ever written, but it's way better than it was supposed to be. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's a good story, as good as you can expect from any it was a shooter. Surprisingly good story. It was what? Yeah. It was surprisingly good. I mean, it was it took a different twist on the Nazis. Yeah. Um. Well, and the main character too. Yeah. Had had who is who has been the blandest of had the blandest fun characters ever. had fun characters that you cared about. <laughs> <laughs> Cole's had a messed up face. Yep. <laughs> Remember me. So yeah, I mean it just it's just has more. You I, can, I would you, say you can amp me up for Mordor. I have had the, I've had this entire conversation into my head while making my own list because of, I was the more it was the total package versus the the standout feature. Is um, the Lord of the Rings stuff in Mordor and I, bad? I don't no, think so. No, no, it's all it's all forgettable. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah, um, I mean, almost unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, huh? And Wolfenstein has. Whereas Wolfenstein, had, you have. I mean, you, what you, what is Wolfenstein? Nazis. Yeah. An American killing Nazis. Mad Men Nazis. That's the other right. fun part. Is it all <laughs> nationalism? I kept thinking about that. Like, yeah. It's in the sixties somewhere. Yeah. Mad Men is actually happening in this Nazi. <laughs> future too. Um, uh, Wait, so Wolfenstein's cool because we know it's Nazis, but I feel like everyone knows Mordor is about orcs 
Orton but murder. the what makes There's Wolfenstein Nazis, cool uh, is it's but di- those heads they fly off. Those heads, Wolfenstein's fly a different off. twist on the Nazis because it's the story from them actually winning the war and being in control, which is an interesting well, that, that's fine. an interesting point that that's not been told. I mean, it's it's not Nazi just your standard. They could, yeah, Nazi I mean, they could have just rehashed. So it. Yeah, it's not your it's not your normal boring Nazi altering. story that that Wolfenstein's used in the past. It's it's a different it's a different twist. And you're on the moon at one point. <laughs> Spoiler. I mean, well, you were on the moon in Destiny. Too. <laughs> Put it back on the list. So Destiny's <laughs> back on the list. Destiny wins. <laughs> Destiny wins because they, the they had a moon. Because they had a moon. And, the, and the Nazis had to have been there somewhere. Were there wizards on that Nazi moon? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Are you given on... I mean, I, like I said, I, no. I could be all in on Mordor, so... My my goal was Hearthstone and top five. I got it there. Kay. I lucked out and got Far Cry Four <laughs> there too, but yeah. I I, I, I wasn't have the wins? support, <laughs> and so Mordor was my backup. I'm actually ex- a lot more excited to play Shadow of Mordor than Wolfenstein. I probably won't ever play Wolfenstein, but I definitely will play Shadow of. I'm Mordor. not I'm not trying to shit on Wolfenstein no. at all oh, either. Well, I just want to the, know these are the top five games yeah. of the year. <laughs> We're not shitting on anybody, so like it's just kind of it, it kind of sucks that you've got to you've got to start like really picking apart at cracks that may or may not even exist. I'm tr- but yeah, I'm trying to determine if we're talking about preferences here, or is there a, a concrete thing that you can point to as this is why this is better? And everything I hear about Wolfenstein what sounds I, solid, but it sounds like what I would preference. say. What I would say about the two though is if so, say you haven't played either. I, I'm Jordan. <laughs> hey Jordan, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm gonna buy both games. Man, you could awesome. play Shadow of Mordor for two to three hours, and you've played Shadow of Mordor, and you could walk away and never go back to it. If you start playing Wolfenstein, I feel like you're probably gonna play it to the end just to see how the story finishes. Uh, uh, the that the nature, f- the the abilities you get later in Shadow of Mordor make that game take that game to a exciting fun level that doesn't exist at the beginning of that game yeah but does shadow of mordor have the doom beta attached to it <laughs> <laughs> really didn't know where no. he was gonna go with that why did we wait so long to tell the standout part of wolfenstein <laughs> but like to me to get to those it's like yes those abilities sound fun but i what about i couldn't make laser? myself grind through it to get to there because it was just like okay but then the nemesis yeah. system didn't hit hit for you because that's the grind I mean, was me. It was it was with the orcs. Same here. It, I mean, I understand it, and I had fun with it. But you know, after you do it for a few hours, it's like, okay, I understand how this nemesis system works. I I have orcs taunting me, and it's like, okay, that's cool. But do I need to do this for another ten hours so that I can get strong, you know, and finally kill those guys? I I just didn't feel compelled well, to to go and do that. Wolfenstein would have the <coughs> benefit of having an ending. That it's going to rail you towards. Yeah. In that case, you don't stop in a corridor and just keep, keep, keep killing Nazis until you're tired of it. And you're like, oh, yeah, there's a story I'm doing. And I think that the aspect that Wolfenstein can pull you to the end where Mordor like doesn't have that. <laughs> Mordor doesn't have that for me, which is what makes it more of game mechanic of the year instead of game of the year. It has a good hook, but it doesn't have the full what yeah, it needs. I support Coop's argument in that. I will s- say, but at the same time, you when you look back... I support it with blades. I'm getting my knife out. I, I, I would say when, you, when get, you look back, get a knife. I think Mordor I think Mordor will change Bring your games headphones and knives. in the future. <laughs> 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 I, I don't disagree with you that that Mordor is, is going to be the cause of some very awesome games to come out in front, but I don't know that it it can still be that influential thing without it doesn't need to be game of the year to do that it has it has the component to make a game of the year but it is not it hmm. a lot of people playing hearthstone <laughs> <laughs> look at those records what about pt all right so he <laughs> sold koopa sold jordan where are your heads at after that round of arguments jason and cole I'm I'm with Coop. Based on oh, Fergus. Based on Fergus. Fergus. Based <laughs> on what I've played of all three games. Okay. Um, 
All right. And like Coop's argument too, like I'm I'm Wolfenstein. Jason, where are you at? I found myself nodding pretty much during his, you know, okay. his his argument. Holy shit! I did it. <laughs> Soapbox. Holy shit! That you that you can. For the record, these are tied in our our voting. Oh, I'm not so, surprised. Wow. But it's four to two here, and well, kind of kind of like Aaron. I got I got at least two of them in the top five, so I'm pretty satisfied. Um, and it looks like I'm going to have to be maybe somebody that makes the decision, which sucks. We've got, Alien isolation. We've got we've got mm. four Wolfensteins and two. And I'm not shitting on Mordor. Mordor, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's good. I mean, yeah. it's. I'm, ex- I'm, I'm just going to laugh. I'm just right going to laugh. down here. I'm just going to laugh because I know exactly where you are in that game because the first couple hours are frustrating and the game's hard, mm-hmm. and then it fucking clicks when you because it will happen. There will be a orc. But I didn't. I didn't have to have somebody tell me to do that to finish Wolfenstein. So. It's uh, no, I, the, the, but yeah, no. I'm, I'm gonna. But your highs in Mordor maybe will be higher than any of your highs in Wolfenstein. Maybe. I mean, you're talking to the guy who used to only play shooters, so. I, know, I but. <laughs> because oh, no, I mean, but having played Wolfenstein, like I said, it doesn't have that moment. It's all just it's. You plot its trajectory, and it's pretty much a straight line up in the 98 range. But it's like. <laughs> But and Mordor, range. Mordor takes a little bit to get going, but that peak is fantastic. And like, and yeah, I'm not gonna go back and play it for the story, but I will go play its other mode where I just go mess with the orc politics and oh, yeah, same here. Um, but and I do feel like I will at some point play Wolfenstein. You should. <laughs> <laughs> you should. It's game of the year. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> The four to two. He's a stubborn little guy. I didn't. I didn't know Coop had it in him. So I'm ready to concede. Well, Aaron. What's a dickish? <laughs> dickish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put commas at the beginning <laughs> after scratch you put commas. and before itch. Scratch that itch. <laughs> Are we done? I think so. I, I think it's over. All right. So Wolfenstein. Yeah. The New Order Burgess. is HorribleNight.com's winner of the Game of the Year. Wait, what? That's what we were doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wait. Uh, finalists are Hearthstone, Shadow of Mordor, Far Cry 4, and Alien Isolation. Not in that order. I want to thank everybody that joined us uh, <laughs> live and hung out with us today, as well as the podcast crew here. It was a lot of fun, guys. And uh, for everybody on uh, reading on HorribleNight.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Let us know what you thought and uh, <laughs> let Coop know how wrong he was about how this Let me know how wrong out. I was. It's, Coop, it's all <laughs> Coop's fault. And apparently we all have to go play Valiant Hearts. Yes. yes. Yep. And Wolfenstein. <laughs> and Alien. And, oh, yeah. You, you bet your ass. <laughs> but not Friends. Far Cry 4. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not <far>. Nope. <laughs> For the 2014 Grimmies, uh, we will see you next year. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Hearthstone. Burgess. 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 <laughs>